Question 9. Consider the sequence 1, 2, 4 and so on. This sequence can be generated by, then we have four options here, a general term tn equals to 2 to the power of n minus 1 explicitly, recursive definition tn equals to tn minus 1 plus n minus 1 where t1 equals to 0 or recursive definition another definition is given tn equals to tn minus 1 plus 2 where t1 equals to 1 or option fourth is both a and b so let's check our options option 1 gives us a general term explicitly that means that you can plug in any value here and directly find your answer for example if I write T S as N S 3 for example so T 3 will be third term which we are looking for this 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 so 2 square is 4 so we get that term right if I want the second term so I will put 2 here so T 2 will be 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 2 to the power of 1 is 2 so we get that term right T 1 is 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 which is 2 to the power of 0 so we get the first term correct so this general term Tn is definitely a right way of representing 1 2 4 sequence right so this sequence can be generated by Tn equals to 2 to the power of n minus 1 let's check B also right B says Tn equals to Tn minus 1 plus n minus 1 where T1 is 1 so let's do B here so option B, let's work it out. First unit is 1. Okay. Now second term gives 2. T2 is n minus 1, that is T1, plus n minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So we get the second term as 2. If I put Tn as 3, so third term will be the previous term, which is 2, plus 3 minus 1, which is 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. So we do get 4 also. Let's check the fourth term. Fourth term here will be previous term which is 4 plus 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. So 3 more. 7. Okay. Well, we get 7 here as the fourth term. But we do get 1, 2 and 4. Same as here. Let's check the fourth term here. Well, the first term is 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 which is 2 to the power of 0 so 2 to the power of 0 is 2 to the power of 0 equals to 1 and next term is 2 to the power of 1 which is 2 the third term is 2 to the power of 2 which is 4 and then we have 2 to the power of 3 which is 8 so with this we get a sequence as 1 2 4 and 8 we get different sequences with both the formulas, right? But at least first three terms are same. Do you see that? So both represent the given data. One important thing which I want to show you here is that we can never be sure about the next number in a sequence if we are not sure about our general formula or the recursive definition. So if I just give you a sequence like 1, 2, 4, then the fourth term could be either 7 or 8 or something else, right? Depending on what was generating that sequence, okay? So one thing which you understand from this example is given few terms, next term could be optional, like could be different, okay? Now, one more thing which you learn from here is different types of formulas which can represent the sequence. One is general formula which also referred to as explicitly. So we say explicitly the sequence can be defined by tn equals to 2 to the power of n minus 1. The other way to write our sequence is using recursive definition where at least first term is given and Based on the first term, the other terms are defined. For example, here we say previous term plus n minus 1. So in recursive formula or definition, we do one operation again and again. Here we are adding to the previous number another number which is n minus 1. Okay. 
Now, option C. Let's try to generate from option C. Here, T1 is, let's say C. T1 is 1, okay. If I put 2 here, then the 2 n minus 1 is the previous term. 2 plus 1 is 3, right? Not 2. So it does not represent the given sequence. Therefore, the option both A and B is correct. Okay? I hope you